how are you doing then guys? Uh, just getting in the car, just uh, on my way to Portsmouth today. Uh, got an athletic competition and uh, the club are competing uh, and I'm team manager again. So yet again, I can't compete, but I'm going along anyway because I'm nice like that. And so far, it looks like it's gonna be a bit of a dull one. It's not great out there, but at least at the moment it's dry, which is uh, the main for most of the guys. Uh, so yeah, I'm just about to go get some food, grab myself some breakfast as well. And although it's really bad and it's against my diet and stuff like that, and I've been doing really well with my diet, I think I might have a bacon sandwich for breakfast. But I'll also have a cinnamon latte. So, so that kind of works works it off, doesn't it? Yeah, maybe not. But uh, either way, I really fancy one, so that's probably what I'm going to have for breakfast. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to drive all the way to Portsmouth. Uh, I might show you a little bit of the journey. And then when we get there, I'm going to try and get some footage of the guys competing today. So hopefully you'll get to see uh, some of the events that I would normally be doing, but at the moment I, I can't because I'm broken. Uh, so yeah, I'll catch you soon um, and I'll speak to you in a bit. Yeah, you know how I said, well, at least it was dry and uh, the guys would uh, really appreciate it being dry. Uh, it's kind of changed a little bit on the way. Uh, those are my windscreen wipers and it was just a second ago absolutely torrential rain. <laughs> Um, and it's exactly where I'm heading, which is brilliant, really good. I can only say, thank goodness, I'm not actually competing today uh, because I don't like competing in the wet, especially when it comes to pole vault, uh, because you just land on a wet bed. There you go, oh, more torrential rain. Super times, excellent. Okay, right, I'm going to go and concentrate on what I'm doing because uh, I am actually driving and shouldn't really be talking and driving at the same time. Well, at least not into a camera anyway. Um, I'll speak to you in a bit. ta -da. Hey guys, so made it into Portsmouth today, and uh, there it is, there's a bit of Portsmouth for you. Uh, very pretty, isn't it? Yeah, very nice. Uh, so, uh, what I'm going to try and do is get some footage of today's competition. So, uh, this is generally what I would normally be doing on a Saturday if I didn't have a leg that wouldn't work very well. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear me, it's very, very windy, but we've had a really good day. The weather came out gorgeous, look at that! Where's that all come from? It was, it was crap earlier. But uh, anyway, it's been a really nice day, uh, lots of sunshine, I think I've caught the sun a little bit. Uh, I'll just put my umbrella away. Uh, and it's been a really good day, you saw from all the videos, we've done really well. Didn't even have a full team and we still managed to finish third uh, in the competition today, which is really good. Really excellent and well done to everybody who's uh, been part of it, uh, including uh, yours truly, who really shouldn't be doing anything at all, but I still managed to finish fourth in the discus uh, I threw once, uh, which isn't very much, I know, but I still managed to throw once and, and finish fourth, so that's pretty cool. And now it's time for a very, very, very uh, quick drive home, because it's six o'clock and I'm meeting Susanna at 7.30. So I will see you in a moment, pretty much when I get home. Wow, that's been fun. Uh, I am driving along home and came up across uh, some signs saying the M3 was closed uh, between junctions 11 and 9. Uh, so I had to come off the motorway and have uh, added an extra hour to my journey, which is really great. Yeah, excellent. So it's uh, well after 7 o'clock now and I am still driving. So uh, yeah, I'm still plodding along. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for dinner tonight. Uh, but Susanna's still coming over, but it's going to be a late evening. We're going to be eating fairly late as well. So I'm not sure what to do. I'm thinking seafood, because that's normally quite light. Uh, but we'll decide when she gets here. So uh, I'm going to continue with my uh, never-ending journey home. And I will catch you in just a little bit. Oh, blimey. Glad to be home. Oh, looking at the camera. I'm looking a bit red. I think I might have caught the sun a little bit today. Uh, anyway, finally home after the world's longest journey ever. Um, and uh, two things, two things, two things. 
Uh, number one, well done to England for winning the cricket against Sri Lanka and winning the uh, the whole series. And uh, number two, commiserations to England for losing the women's football against France on penalties. How do we lose every time on penalties? How, how does that always happen? World Cups, men, women, doesn't matter. We always lose on penalties. Don't know why we'd even ever expect to win. Uh, but commiserations to the England team. Uh, that's kind of it for my night. I'm waiting for Susanna, Susanna to get here now. Uh, so uh, I'll speak to you in a little while. Okay then, well, dinner's eaten. Did you enjoy dinner tonight, Susanna? What did I make you? I can't remember. You can't remember what I made you? Wasabi with noodles. And? Prawns. There we go. Excellent. I made a prawns with noodles and uh, like a tarragon sauce. It was really nice. And uh, now we're going to chill out for the rest of the evening. I'm going to edit this vlog so you can watch it. So, good night. Don't let the bugs bite. Sleep well. Uh, sweet dreams. And all those other things that you say to kids to get them to go to sleep. Good night. <laughs>